translate in a tessellation to translate an object means replacing it by sliding it over a certain distance in a certain direction okay we'll look at that when we dealing with we're dealing with translation basically transformation where translation is one of them translation a rigid motion of a plane or space of the form x goes to x plus v for a fixed vector v okay so in translating and translation you do not rotate the object you do not change its size do not change its shape you do not flip it or reflect it over a line you just slide it all right transversal a geometry in geometry given two or more lines in the plane a transversal is a line distinct from the original lines which intersects each of the given line in a single point okay so again two or more lines in a plane is a line at in geometry given two or more lines in a plane a transversal is a line distinct from the original lines and intersects each of the given lines in the single point so it's a when you have two lines then you have a third line that cuts across those two lines that's a transverse cell theoretical probability the chances of events happening as determined by calculating results that would occur under ideal circumstances for example the theoretical probability of rolling a, rolling a four on a fair die is a quarter or 25 percent on a four-sided die I mean because there is one chance in four at a roll to get a roll of four and under ideal circumstances one out of every four rolls one out of every four rolls would be four trapezoid a quadrilateral exact with exactly one pair of parallel sides Trigonometry, the study of triangles. Three trigonometric functions defined for each for for either acute angles in the right triangles are the sine of the angle x is the ratio of the side opposite to the angle and the hypotenuse. In short, sine x is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine of the angle x is the ratio of the short side adjacent to the angle and the hypotenuse. In short, cos is a over h adjacent over hypotenuse. The tangent of the angle x is the ratio of the opposite side of the angle and the short side adjacent to the angle. In short, tan x is o over a tan is opposite over adjacent okay good union of sets the union of two or more sets is the set of all elements contained in all of the sets the symbol for union is u the big u looking letter there unit vector a vector of length one okay unity that's one Variable, a placeholder in an algebraic expression, for example, in 3x plus y is equal to 23, x and y are variables. So remember, x and y can take on any number. So they can vary any number that you like. They can vary. In fact, along a graph, they keep changing, so they vary. So you call it variables. The 3 and the 23 are set as they are. You don't have the jurisdiction to go and change 3 to 4 or 5 as you want if you change 3 to some other number then you violate the rules of the question you don't change the question 23 you don't change it to 22 you don't change it to 30 it is fixed those are not variables those are constants the 3 and the 23 are constants 
All right. Vector. Quantity that has magnitude, length, and direction. It may be represented as a directed line segment. Okay. So in that case, the an arrow on the line would show the direction and the length of the line. You can use to show the magnitude using a certain scale. Velocity. The rate of change of position over time in a given direction is velocity. Calculated by dividing directed distance by time. Venn diagram. A diagram with where sets are represented as simple geometric figures which, with overlap and similarity of sets represented by intersections and unions of the figures. Vertex. The vertex of an angle is the point where the two sides of the angles meet. Okay, So like the corner. Volume. A measure of the number of cubic units of space an object occupies. Okay, so that's the list of figure um, words and meanings that the C sex syllabus contains. We'll move on at a later date.